I thank Ari a lot. Like, when you look at the steps to what helped me, it was those stories. Those stories, you never know what it's going to be in this town. Until you do it, just make sure you're prepared, and you go out there and you do them, and that's it. But I think those stories, those 15-minute segues on Ari's storytelling show helped my career more than anything, just telling the truth. More than a special, more than the two shitty specials I did, more than, you know. I think people would like that, like, raw roughness of that show. That show is so perfect that for Ari. That show is perfect. Yeah. That show is a perfect show. Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't know what's going to turn the meter with some people, or you don't know what's going to complete the circle for some meter. For me, I feel that that storytelling show fucking healed me. Like, I had those stories in me. They were good to say them. Sometimes they pop up when I watch them and I get sad. You know what? I still, a couple of weeks ago, we were having a conversation. They tried to write a piece about Ralphie. And they were referring to uh, on video. They got him and they asked him questions. And he's saying a bunch of shit that if you know any comic or anybody was on pills, you know, he'd be saying, remember when I, when I did those tapes for you in 2006 at the House of Blues when I was saying that I wanted to die? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you remember? You mm-hmm. still got those. You should put yeah. these up for those people. These people. Yeah, they're up. they're they're up right now. Jo- Joey Diaz ready to die. I think it's Joe Joe Show Eleven. Like I was done. Yeah. Like I was eating fucking. That's the weekend I went. We went in like on Thursday, and I didn't see you guys till Saturday. Right. Like I was doing eight ball. They were delivering it to the room. The guy had a come down package, and he'd give you those fucking Vicodins and shit. My friends were in town. I wouldn't go to the, their hotel and see them. I told them I was busy with Joe, the UFC. I was working the UFC. I don't work the fucking That's UFC. Right. I, that. I was in my room yeah, snorting up a storm. And then I was forced to go down Saturday to do this fucking show. <laughs> I was forced. And these guys got a camera and they're fucking That's right. asking me stupid fucking questions. <laughs> and I was done. Like, I just wanted a quick Coke. I didn't think it was possible. That's what was going on. Spirit left me. Like fucking Thursday night we flew in. I basically snorted all night Thursday. Friday Joe did something and I blew you guys off. Because I was too busy in my room getting high. Wouldn't that be the wedding? And Saturday. <clears throat> yeah. And Saturday I fucking finally came out. And I took a shower. I was in that room for two days straight. No room service, just eating like Hershey. Was it Mandalay Bay? I think it was Mandalay yeah, Bay. Yeah, like eating fucking chocolate bars in the refrigerator. The paranoia jerking off in the corner so <laughs> mirrors and the cameras wouldn't see me. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <clears throat> and this, you don't know what it's like to call this drug dealer at four in the morning. He answers. And I'm like, I need another one. I'll be there in two minutes. Don't, don't I need to go downstairs? No, I know all the security guards. He would come right to my room, ask me if I wanted to come down package the, the extra package with the, the four sleeping pills and two Vicodins, two Percocets, Damn. And two Xanax. I need the whole fucking thing. What do you think you're going to feel like in the Damn. morning? What do you think is going to come out of your mouth in the morning? You have not a stitch of happiness in your life. Wow. All the dopamine has been taken out of your brain. I was on a roll for two days. The things I said on those tapes, like, well, just, I always think about that. Like, that was the <laughs> darkest time of my life. That last year before I quit Coke. Ooh. Ooh. Isn't that crazy you made it out of that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, how insane is that, Joey? Dog. I mean, I even thought you, you were a, a goner when during those times when you when you thought you were dying and stuff like that. I, like I was like, oh man, he's only going to last a couple months. Yeah. Like we all like kind of thought that I yeah. think because <laughs> you you sold it so well. <laughs> it, it wasn't that I sold it so well; it was what I was basically fucking going through. Yeah. Like I mean, so I did a big movie. I opened up for Rogan on the road. I the longest spot. yard, right? I do spots at the store, and this is it. This is my life. 